Hello Cancer, welcome to your May 2018 reading. So welcome. This is exciting um, to see what's ahead for you. This is a general reading, my lovely Cancerians. Also listen to your rising sign and your moon sign as well as your sun sign as some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to have a personalised reading one-to-one -one, uh, with me, you follow the link below to my website and you can book your reading via my website and that will uh, ensure a much more accurate reading for you specifically. So having said that, the energies have been absolutely um, crazy in the last two weeks of April. They've been very, very difficult for some. I know I've really felt them. I've really felt the energies in the last two weeks of April. Uh, they've been quite intense, quite full on. Saturn, forever, uh, the great teacher, bringing things up for it that need to be reviewed, need to be looked at uh, in order for us to move forward, in order for us to um, move to our, our next uh, next lesson, next place, you know, it's always, it, you always move to somewhere that's, you know, your next chapter's always better, um, there's lots of learning, always, it goes on forever, you know, this is what we're here for, so um, I hope you got through uh, April, the last two weeks of April, better than I did, you know, because it was quite intense for me, so let's have a look at what's going on for you. Quite exciting really. You know, we're going to open open May. You've got the world card. This is how we're going to be opening May for you. It's it's new it's new beginnings. It's it's everything that um, everything's possible. Everything's possible for you. You know, you're, you're, you're on top of the world. This is the feeling that you're going to get. There's nothing that you can't achieve. There's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing that you can't put into pl in place. You're feeling absolutely fantastic um, on many levels, on many levels where you've, ar where you've arrived, uh, what you, you, what's around you, um, where you're headed. Uh, everything's possible for you from the beginning of May. So that energy is going to come in. I want to say that some of you are going to feel like you want to jump out of your skin. It's just, okay, I'm so excited. Let's just do things. What are we doing? What, what, um, what plans am I putting into place? I can't just sit here. It's like itchy feet. It's really needing to uh, move forward, move forward. You know, you're being asked to move forward. You're being shown that energy of that, that um, excitement. It's like, you know, I've, my skin's gone of goosebumps so it's really it's really an exciting time for you absolutely fabulous um, exciting time for you which is going to lead to you know don't hold back on what it is you want to achieve don't hold back on the changes you want to bring into your life don't hold back on what you're expecting um, as a result of what you've put into place uh, you know reaping the results or or the benefits of of things that you've set yourself this is coming up in May, so don't don't be shy about what goals you want to set. Just set them. Just have your wish list. I'm a real fan of wish lists, you know, of putting down whatever. It doesn't, it, without thinking, oh, how am I going to achieve that? How is it going to come about? You know, this is going to be impossible. Don't even, don't even go there. Don't even think about those things. It's just about creating your wish list. Let the universe take care of the rest. Really have this desire of where do you want to be at the end of the year? Where do you want to be in the next five years? Write down these, this wish list of, of what you want, what you want to achieve. Don't hold back and don't have this feeling of, oh, well, look, I'm doing this, but it's not really going to happen. That's sabotaging yourself. That is sabotaging yourself. You really need to feel it and bring it into the now because that is really setting all your goals, all your dreams, everything that you want to achieve. Just set them because, you know, you're sitting pretty. You're on top of the world. You know, you're, you're on top of the world. What's underlying all of that? You know, your, your cup runneth over with all goodness, with, with every, the energy around you is going to be really positive, really uh, you've got an ability to make things happen around you. So plans that you've got, 
things that you want to bring in place, things that you want to achieve. For some of you, it's a proposal of marriage coming to you or that you're going to be proposing to someone. For some of you, it's building that dream home. Uh, for some of you, it's moving to a location that you've always wanted. For some of you, it's aiming high and getting that job or promotion that you've always secretly really desired and really wanted. You know, um, for some of you, it's, it's being able to travel. To, to go to places that you've always wanted to see, to, to travel. For some of you, it'll be all of it, you know. Why not? Why not? But this is this is the energy that's around you. It's, it's let's make things happen. Let's make things happen because what's happening here in May is I feel like for you, May is the, um, I'll put that card down for a minute because what they're telling me here is May is for you is the portal, is the doorway, is the the transition from what's happened in the past and what you're moving into for the rest of the year. So this is the transition period. May is that proverbial walking through that doorway of opportunity. So what is your opportunity? What are you going to set yourself? Are you going to hold yourself back or are you going to grab it with both hands and really go through that door? Um, it's, it's about acknowledging what you've learned in the past, acknowledging your past lessons, you know, and this is what this is, you know, all these, these are all your, your past lessons, acknowledging your past lessons um, and taking with you what serves you, leaving the rest behind, taking only what you have learned, your, your lessons, your wisdom, your knowledge, your skills, taking that with you through this portal, which is May, which is traveling through May. What dreams did you always want to achieve? What dreams have you got? What goals do you want to set? This is the opportunity. May is the month. May is the month for you. I really want to stress that. So don't hold back, don't self-sabotage. Really understand that anything that you want to achieve, you can. So let's take that through, let's, let's move that through. Um, let's take it through the portal. That's where you're going in May and that's the underlying um, theme, I think, of May for, for you Cancerians. It's an exciting time of, of leaving the past behind and walking through this portal and seeing what, what is in store for you for two, the rest of 2018. You know, the time, this is, this is in your past, you know, it's the Knight of Swords, but it's in reverse. And, you know, I read them both ways because, you know, there's a lot of you out there, Cancerians, so there's different things for different one, different Cancerians, you know, but I feel like the time of planning and thinking and wishing and, and hoping and keeping it in that headspace is over. It's now time to, you've thought about it you've for long enough, you've processed it for long enough, so now take it and move forward. So the time, that, that's done. That's in the past, so that's done, and it's time to move forward, and it's time to move forward, and what is what is that's going to achieve is a whole lot of new beginnings, new ideas, new plans, new knowledge, new skills. This is the mind, you know, this is the air, mind, um, and it's new for you Cancerians, new times to soar like an eagle, to go to the heights, whatever heights you want to go to. However high you want to fly, however high you want to um, reach, don't create that glass ceiling because it's this is this transition. It's pretty. It's pretty exciting. I'm really excited for you for May. It's a really exciting month for you. Um, I feel really just excited, just I can't wait to see what's in store and that's the feeling that you're going to get in May. How nice is that? How nice is that? Okay, let's have a look at what's coming up for you. You know, I feel like through May too, you're going to get a lot of, um, for some of you, there's a lot of sleepless nights in store and this is, you know, the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of sleepless nights of thinking, of processing, 
of putting things in place and what do I want to achieve and what do I want to do. Um, don't worry needlessly. That's what I want to say to you. Don't worry needlessly. Have the courage to step forward because the, everything's aligned for you to be able to do that. Um, so for some of you, it's sleepless nights for, and a lot of thinking that's in store for you, um, a lot of processing that's in store. Um, don't allow self-doubt to creep in. Don't allow fear to creep in because that will hold you back. You're going to attract that and you don't want to because that's not the energy that's around for you. So there's sleepless nights for some. For some of you, there's a, a really active dream life. There's a lot of messages that are going to come through. A lot of seeds are going to be planted in your mind through your dreams. So be aware of that. Take note of that. Write them down. Um, because a story will unfold, ideas will unfold. A lot of you are going to wake up in the morning and go, ha ha, I've solved that problem. I know where I'm going. I know what I want to achieve. So it's going to be different for, for each of you. Um, but that's night work. It's either sleeplessness and worry, and you don't want that, or allowing the uh, universe to speak to you through your dreams your guides to speak to you through your dreams, to plant those seeds of inspiration, to show you the direction. So don't forget to ask. If you don't ask your guides, if you don't ask for assistance, they're not going to do it. They won't make decisions for you, but once you take that first step, you have the courage to take that first step and you ask them to bring into your um, uh, environment, to bring to you the... Um, the assistance that you're needing and it will come in many different forms so you need to then be aware because they will answer you they will they will come in and assist you they will bring into your um, energetic field what you need okay um, people that will help you situations that will help you information that will help you you need to be observant about that watch the synchronicities but don't forget to ask them they won't do it for you but they will certainly come in and help you okay this, this sleeplessness makes sense here because your next card is, is one of taking that, that journey into, the, into your soul, into your, your shadow, uh, really going deep to really find out it's what do you want, Cancerians, my lovely Cancerians, what is it that you want? What ambitions do you have? What dreams do you have? What is it you, that you want to achieve? It's really going to cause you to go deep, have this great self-reflection so may is also going to bring that in so that it will bring clarity to you clarity in knowing what it is you need to do and what direction you need to move it's overall it's a very positive month it's a month of really um, don't forget I'm telling you you're traveling through the portal of the past and what the future holds so may is really like that that month of being a portal where you're traveling through and it's in this traveling through that you're going to have a lot of self-reflection a lot of really identifying well where am I headed what do I want what do I need you know what do I need you know it's going to lead you to that so don't uh, don't get too caught up, up about what is it that I'm going to achieve, what am I going to receive. It's there for you. It's already there for you. There's nothing for you to worry about. You're going to be given the key to be able to unlock your desires, unlock a method of achieving what it is you want to achieve. It's going to be around you. For some of you, there is love there, being the red tulips, you know. There is love there for you. Um, it's that's also part of what's coming for around you so if you're single there is love there there's love around you there is opportunities to find that some special someone to connect with someone on a romantic level for those of you that are in a relationship, it's about strengthening it, really, to me, locking it. So it's a, a, a proposal of marriage, birth of a child, uh, a, a serious commitment, uh, moving. If, if you're already married, it's, it's about really becoming closer, strengthening that bond, really locking it in, locking it in. That's, that's the sense that I get. So 
also in May, it's also good romantically for you Cancerians, married or single. Um, so use that time to really connect. It's, it's in every sphere. It's absolutely everything. By the end of May, by the end of May, you're going to be having to make some decisions. There's temptation that's going to step in front of you to test you. Are you making the decisions for the right reasons? Are you making them because they sit well with you? Or are you making them because of fear? Are you making them because you uh, are too scared to leave your work to find a job that you've always really wanted to do to, to have? Are you fearful of proposing or making that solid commitment in your relationship? Um, are you doing it because you don't want to be alone? Are you staying in your job because it's safe and secure and, you know, you hate it, but, you know, it's, it's there and, you know, I'm going to stay here instead of seeking my heart's desire, seeking my purpose, seeking what I'm really looking for. So have a look at the decisions that you're going to make and be honest with yourself. Really go deep. Show that honesty in making these choices and decisions. Are you making them for the right reasons? Are they solid reasons? That's going to be really important for you. So it's going to be the end of May. You're going to have, there's a time of review. Okay, you're almost through the portal. So let's review what you've decided. Is it good for you? Is it taking you where you need to go? Um, but overall, fantastic month. I really like like that. I really like that. I'm going to give you a card from the Oracle of Visions this month. Beautiful, beautiful deck. And um, we'll see what the overall theme is. Oh, a whole lot fell out. We don't want a whole lot. We just want one. So we'll try it again. So. They're beautiful. Look at the backs. Look at the backs of this deck. How lovely is that? How lovely is that? Oh, there it is. Falling all over me. It's falling on top of me. I'll just get my glasses, lovely Cancerians. Okay, so let's have a look. It's beautiful. Okay. So, it's about Pinocchio was a puppet, right? Um, and he could be manipulated to, to be who the person that was operating it wanted him to be. So it's a little bit like that devil card where, you know, you, are you being manipulated by external forces? Are you being manipulated by external forces? It's about, you know, this horse here is, is on the merry-go-round. They're stuck. You know, it's got that stick going through it. It's stuck to the ground. It's going around and around and around and nothing really is. It's not changing sceneries. It's, it's repetitious. It's getting on that merry-go-round and just doing the same old, same old thing. But here you've been given an opportunity to break free, to break free from that that's binding you and really exploring your future, your horizon, just breaking free from that glass bubble. It's like I said, the glass ceiling. It's interesting, isn't it? The glass ceiling, breaking through that glass ceiling and really reaching the opportunities that are available to you, the opportunities that are there for you to, the, the changes that you can put in place in May. I can't stress how important May is for you, Cancerians, to really break out of um, what your every day is. Dare to dream and, and make these things happen for you because you deserve it and it's it'll just be so exciting. So, so, so exciting to bring all that newness in. So that's fantastic. So I hope that that's been very helpful for you, um, for May. I wish you many, many blessings. I wish you... Um, great excitement and joy in May because it's absolutely a fantastic um, time for you. So use that energy well and I'll see you mid-month.